drawing my splat band while telling fun facts about them. I'm not quite sure who this girl is supposed to be, but I ended up not using this design. Same thing with the Octoling girl I'm about to draw here. I'll go down the line for sharing the fun facts. So first we have you know the Vampire Squid. His pronouns are he, they, and his design is based off one of my friends. He plays rhythm guitar but doesn't have many hobbies outside of music. Unless you count watching YouTube videos 24 7 Next up is Lotus. They use they, it pronouns. It is a better fit. It is a drummer that took lessons since elementary school and knows how to play pretty much any percussion instrument. They also like skateboarding whenever they have the chance. And now we have Don the Lil, baby Octarian. Nobody really knows where Don came from, but they absolutely love her nonetheless. Don learned everything she knows from Lotus and was welcomed as a synth player for the band. She uses she or her pronouns and is only 8 years old. Her hobbies as of now are just striving to improve her synth skills. Okay now I will talk about Fito. Fito is the best player. Fito's pupils are spiral shaped, which led to him getting teased a lot as a child. Maya insisted they looked super cool, going as far as to copy them using contact lenses. The rest of the group caught wind of this and decided to copy him as well, resulting in the whole band having spiral-shaped irises. Also, Vito uses e him. During his free time, Vito likes to participate in anarchy battles and chase wild birds. Alright, last but not least is Maya. Maya is the lead guitarist of the band. She uses she they pronouns and writes a large majority of the music for the band. They have a black line in between their eyes because they want to pass as an inkling, hence being a literal catfish. Maya enjoys cosplaying, baking, and watching musicals in her free time. Yes, she has forced her friends to watch musicals with her. Nobody likes them except for her. Okay, I guess that's enough. Fun facts of the members. I'll talk about the art itself now. I struggled so much with picking a color palette for them. I had to go to three different people for help until I finally settled on colors for them. Also, yes, I had to use references for the instruments and shades. Overall, I'm very pleased with the way they look. Their designs are unique, I know, and stand out a lot in a good way. Alright, now I'll show their art individually. I hope you liked my art.